Uh, we'll take one other question because uh, we'd like to give time for the closing statements. Improvements in Ward 2 are important to you. Will you also consider road improvements throughout Riverside important? Uh, that may be addressed to Mr. Melendres, but uh, if, if others of you would like to answer, that's fine. Every street in Riverside is important. If there are particular streets that you feel need special attention, although we're all over the city, sometimes some of the council members in a ward or some of the road people don't identify the road. But please, if it's in Ward 2, please let me know. If it is not in Ward 2, contact me anyway and I will share that information with a fellow city council member. What we do is we go out and evaluate roads. And there are some roads that have not had the type of maintenance that we've needed in the past. And my commitment is to work to work and improve those roads. We prioritize roads based on the need and based on the money that we have. So when you have a road or a sidewalk, curb, tree, call our city. You can call our 311 number or you can call me direct and we make sure that it is addressed. Would either one of you gentlemen like to comment on that? It, might, it could even maybe be expanded to other city services. <laughs> Uh, if, if you will allow me a moment, I'd like to comment a little bit on the, the actual, the last question. And I wanted to uh, make a, a correction to one of the items that uh, my opponent stated that uh, I announced. Well, I'd, I'd prefer that yeah. any comments like that be saved for your closing statement. Yes. Oh, something else that's been said other than really Well, no, ma'am, this question wasn't for me, so I don't need to respond. <laughs> I'll rise to the occasion and answer a lot of speech says, too. You know, uh, I believe that, that there are presently a lot of streets that need repaired. Uh, specifically, you know, I mentioned the area on Park Avenue between University and Fourth. Uh, if you walk down there, beware because you might fall and slip and injure yourself. And, and that is the reason why the city has an obligation, if you will. It's not a high one, you know, like for example, nobody's getting killed, you know, shot. But at the same time, there's a duty by the city that sometimes it's not really uh, discharge properly to make sure that the sidewalks are, are safe for pedestrians and especially you know there's uh, senior citizens you know and you know some, it's you know it's you know they're more fragile and and and, and they could fall and, and with that you know and the city should be concerned about that because if somebody falls on the on a sidewalk the city's going to be liable civilly you know so therefore as a prevention measure and besides that it's part of the in my opinion it's one of the necessary services to have sh sh streets and sidewalks that, that are in good repair. And not only am I gonna limit my comments to street, but also I know of trees that are, and there's a place here on the, on, uh, right there off of Kansas, where a palm tree is blocking a, set of, a resident's uh, exit out of the driveway and the palm tree is getting ready to, uh, it's rotten. So if it falls, the city doesn't you know, take remedial action, City's going to be liable and going to spend some of our money, uh, you know, building somebody a new house or repairing the property damage. That's one example. The city, uh, those services, you know, the, the providing the streets, the potholes, and, and making sure that the city is clean are important, and they're important to the folks that are impacted by the absence of repair by the city. And it's not a utopia, you know. So it, you know, there are potholes that need to be fixed, and I will make sure that those are fixed. Uh, as you consummate. Thank you.